Hello ladies and gentlemen, and you're watching Paleo 101, we're going to talk about fossils, minerals, everything recorded in the Earth's rocks. Today I just wanted to give a brief description for my Atlanta Science Tavern talk that I was able to do on March 25th on Saturday of 2017. And I gotta tell you, it was a really, really good, uh, I had a really great time being able to talk for the Manuals Tavern in downtown Atlanta. On the, my description for my talk was uh, the adventures of an 18 year old time tra deep time traveler. And basically I talked about a, a back description of my life and how I got into paleontology and geology and how I look at rocks and fossils because a lot of people have different perspectives on how they look at rocks and how they look at fossils. Some people just may look at a rock and say, oh, it's just a rock. But I look at it as something that tells the entire entire story of the history of the earth and uh, how fossils are basically time locked inside of the earth's rocks and fossils and minerals and everything um, fossils in general. And I really had a great time being able to talk for the Manuals Tavern and for the Atlanta Science Tavern. Uh, there was a great big audience. Um, the, the place was absolutely filled with people who were um, interested in science and uh, my talk. And there were also some paleontologists there. Um, there were two paleontologists from Georgia State University and from Georgia Tech. Um, both, I believe, were micro paleontologists. And I received a business card after my lecture um, from Dr. Stephen, Stephen Henderson, who is a geologist for the um, Oxford, Emory Oxford College. He's a professor of geology there and he invited me to his lab to show for me to look at his uh, marine fossil collection and look at fossils with him. So I'll probably be, probably be going there to uh, Emory Oxford College uh, on, during my spring break. Um, I, it, it, was, it was a great talk and I got a lot of feedback from a lot of great people. My, er, my sixth grade earth science teacher was there and he really encouraged me to become a paleontologist and become a geologist. We used to go and we used to, um, after seven period, we used to go and identify rocks together. We would, um, I, I would show him my notebook. I would um, show him some of the rocks and fossils that I found. And um, it was a great, it was a really great time seeing him. Um, his name is uh, Richard Cormier. He uh, was a middle school teacher, one, my earth science teacher. And it was really great to see him. I, I, I really enjoyed seeing him and his wife. And we just talked for, we, we, I, he's probably one of the most people I've talked to. And we just geeked out over like fossils and minerals and things of that nature. And I had a really great time being able to talk. I had a really great time uh, exploring and exploring with other people and sharing my backstory and how I got into play, uh, fossils and paleontology. And I hope to do it again. It, it was really fun. And I was also the youngest um, Atlanta Science Tavern um, speaker. So that was really cool. Um, there are a lot of people from the Atlanta Science Tavern were um, university level scientists, probably with their PhDs or master's degrees. I was the youngest, I was a high school student, a senior in high school, and that's probably going to be the best and probably a record uh, for the Atlanta Science Tavern, me being the youngest speaker ever. And I really had a great time being part of that experience. Um, also in downtown Atlanta, there is March for Science, and I'll be one of the keynote speakers talking about um, paleontology, the importance of science, how science has influenced everything in our lives, from computers to technology and all, everything that has to deal with paleontology. So I'll probably be talking about that. So yeah, the Atlanta Science Tavern and the March for Science are probably one of the biggest um, lectures that I'll probably probably be doing um, after, uh, excuse me, after, before I go to college really soon. So those were really, really great experiences and I'm glad I was able to do that. Um, before I go, I wanted to show a couple of fossils. This is a uh, dinosaur track from the um, East Berlin Formation. This comes from an ornithopod dinosaur from the early Jurassic period, from the place of vacuum stage of the early Jurassic. And this comes from Connecticut. You can see it, its footprints here. And so these are just a couple of dinosaur footprints from the East Berlin Formation and preserved in siltstone. And these are really, really cool looking fossils. They come from ornithopod dinosaurs. So very similar to uh, Hypsilophodons. Um, they're plan uh, small, medium-sized, plant-eating dinosaurs. Um, just wanted to show you that before I left, and uh, I will see you later with another video, and I'll talk to you soon.